In today's video, we will be wandering through Massey Drive, Newfoundland and Labrador, a small community located on the west coast of Newfoundland. Join us as we go on another enchanting wander together. This is Wandering with Wilfred. Hello, and welcome back to Wandering with Wilfred. I am your host, Wilfred, and today we will be wandering through Stratton's Pond, located in Massey Drive, Newfoundland and Labrador. This is a newer hiking trail in Massey Drive. It connects with the Tipping's Pond Trail, which I have already explored. You can check it out here. This new trail allows wanderers to travel from the Tipping's Pond Loop over to Stratton's Pond Subdivision. Newfoundland and Labrador have many bodies of water including lakes, ponds, and rivers. The area of freshwater in Newfoundland and Labrador is 31,340 square kilometers, covering 7.7% of the total surface area of the province and representing 3.5% of the freshwater area of Canada. Shallow soil and bedrock deeply scored by glaciers are responsible for the numerous lakes and ponds and rivers scattered across Newfoundland and Labrador. I really enjoy exploring all the different bodies of water in this province. I love splashing around and playing with sticks, watching them float or sink. However, I'm not a fan of swimming, so I prefer my paws to stay on the ground while I'm in the water. It's fun to be in the water without getting too deep. I also like being on the shore and enjoying the sights and sounds of nature. If you're liking this video, please subscribe to the channel and share it with your friends and family. Your support helps me in my journey to embark on more adventures. Emotional honesty is about being truthful with ourselves and others about what we are feeling. It involves recognizing and naming our emotions, even when they're uncomfortable or difficult to face. Instead of hiding or ignoring feelings like sadness, anger, or fear, emotional honesty encourages us to acknowledge them openly. By being real with our emotions, we can begin to understand them better, which leads to healthier relationships with both ourselves and those around us. Self-reflection is closely tied to emotional honesty because it requires us to look inward and examine our thoughts and behaviors. When we reflect on why we feel a certain way or act in a particular manner, we gain insight into our emotional patterns. Self-reflection helps us uncover what might be causing our emotions. Whether it's an unresolved issue, stress, or past experiences. By engaging in this practice, we can become more aware of what triggers certain emotions and how we typically respond to them. By facing these emotions head-on and without judgment, we allow ourselves to heal and move forward. It's important to be compassionate with ourselves during this process, recognizing that it's okay to feel vulnerable and that healing takes time. Through emotional honesty and self-reflection, you can begin to face emotions they've suppressed or avoided. Some people try to ignore painful feelings like grief, anger, or fear, believing that if they don't confront them, the emotions will eventually go away. But these feelings tend to linger and can affect our mental and emotional well-being. If 
if you confront and embrace your emotions, you can feel more at ease in your daily life, knowing that you took time to help yourself sort out all of your feelings. If you like the video, please give that like button a little paw tap, subscribe for more four-legged adventures, and hit that notification bell so you never miss a future video. Tail wags and happy trails. Embark on the journey with us. Find our images, pins, and postcards. Own these treasures and join our wander. Let's venture together.